Hey, this is Muichimotsu, and we're finishing up the Legend of Dragons Alpha, which makes... I don't think this is Bloody Biscuits, but I think Bloody Biscuits is doing a similar premise for his hack, except you only start off with Dratini. No Bagon, no Gibble, no Horsey, no Trap Inch. Now, that's, I'm fine with that. I can sympathize with them. This video could have been a lot shorter, but I was being a little stubborn and trying to escape from a Spiro when unfortunately I have a, a ant lion looking thing that is really really slow and cannot escape from a sparrow, but that's alright. I'm I'm learning patience, I can tell you that much. Yeah, we're getting growled by this speedo, and we run away because I don't nearly need to fight him. Alright, we'll explore New Bar Town. Just uh, if I didn't do this, this would have been painfully short. The uh, music is really weird. It's the um, Lavender Town footage, uh, La Lavender Town theme, rather. I am getting Pokemon knowledge mixed up. Yes, Professor Elm lives here. Ooh. Anyway, why don't you divorce him? All right. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna help your dad. Dumbass, you painfully naive child. Anyway, Jimmy, yeah, this is actually making some references to the anime. And his mom is in here in a... Interesting. A house that doesn't even have a bed. Where the hell's the bed? He has a type... Yeah, this is a direct reference to that uh, Legend of Raikou. Or Raikou. Um, anime special thingy. This is Professor Elm's lab. Which is very, very messy. Um, yeah, he just up, he upgrades the Pokedex by touching it or something, apparently. Yes, I have seen Lugia, and he's skeptical, but I can't blame him, because Lugia is freaking epic. Yeah, this looks like it would be a really, really nice hack overall, I'd say. The Pokeballs... Anyway. Ah, uh, okay then. We're already about halfway through this video, I think. But, unfortunately, I did that, so we basically get to... You guys can watch the footage, but I would tell you about my new hack idea, perhaps. But I can speculate also on this. I mean, this seems like it'd be a really, really nice hack, but it makes me wonder about... Um, there wouldn't, pro there may not even be any gem challenges. There may just be other kinds of replacements for it. But one of the main premises of this game is that you're looking for Rayquaza. The long green dragon. That sounds really, really inappropriate. But yeah, you're going to Hoenn from Johto somehow. I don't know how you're doing that. Ignore the battling. It's it was just. I think this was just a way to fill time subconsciously so I could actually talk. Having a little tea here. Milo's tea, actually. I'm not even doing a plugging for, it, but geez, it's sweet. Not in a good way. It's kind of overly sweet. Anyway, I'm wondering, I mean, this is a hack that probably incorporates, well, this could incorporate 4th gen Pokemon, this could um, have the potential possibly, 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 to incorporate, I mean, Dialga, Palkia, obviously Latios and Latias, um, any number of possibilities of rare dragons. And it also makes me curious as to... Mm, well, I mean, yeah, what, if anything, is going to serve as your kind of stopping point? And you can meet Zubat here. That's actually something I wanted to comment on in-game footage. You can meet Zubat here, which means there's probably no concept of time, which is okay. I mean, you don't really need necessarily a concept of time, but then again, technically the uh, third-gen games had something of a concept of time, particularly for the Shoal game, when you had actually your game clock had to recognize the time in order for you to get the high tide or low tide. Anyway, we're getting even closer to the end. But this looks like a really good game. Go on Pocket Community and find it. I, once again, will say, yeah, I had no involvement in here. I'm just playing this alpha and kind of advertising this game. Because it looks like a really good uh, thing. Not to mention, it is a good way for me to get back on YouTube anyways. I haven't been on in probably about five months or something. It's been a while. Well, probably feels a lot longer than it actually has been, because I think the last stuff I uh, 
posted was in May, and now it's about August, so it's been about three months. But still, I mean, that's been a quarter of a year. I think, yes. My math sucks. And we got a town map from that guy, and pretty much everybody's saying, you know, be a good Pokemon trainer, don't abuse your Pokemon. This is supposed to, oh yeah. You can't cross it, Fatty. Alright. And that's supposed to be Mr. Briny, but yeah. This is nice interactivity. This is the end of the alpha. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will be putting up um, the other one, Pokemon Paper Mario Redux, soon. So, uh, look forward to that as well. I mean, sex videos. Anyway, see you later.